Uh, I know this one is uh, from a lost home because I propagated from a lost home. Albo Vidigata. Okay, so basically, uh, any type of uh, young plants you need to uh, wait for it to grow out to a mature size to be able to uh, uh, ID them correctly. See, this plant uh, will propagate from this one. This one is more than plant from that one. Same clones from this one. Okay, this one and this one are same clone. Hello, you guys. We are going to uh, do air layering today with the uh, Monstera Deliciosa vines. Not many steps like when you uh, do air layering trees or woody vine. This is uh, a soft flesh vine. So we do not cut anything on the vine. Because soft flesh vine, if you cut something on it and uh, it got get dirty and uh, moist, it will rot the uh, vines. So the best, don't cut it, okay? Um, don't make a mark, don't, uh, don't have cut, whatever it is. Uh, you don't touch, uh, you, you don't damage the, uh, the soft uh, flesh vine. Uh, you uh, identify the uh, section where it, the air, air root so up right here. Sometimes they have very little, sometimes they have long. The, if it's long, you put in the bag. If not, and uh, you see, sometimes they have like like little one, like this one. And sometimes they have a longer one. Uh, you get a bag like this. I uh, usually use the uh, four mil uh, thicker, uh, four mil thicker, so the the root take longer time. Otherwise, uh, if you use the uh, the thinner plastic, the root may poke uh, puncture the plastic. Uh, this one lasts longer, and you keep it for a long time. When uh, you see all the roots show up. Uh, then uh, you cut it but other than that uh, uh, four mil is a good choice otherwise uh, any type of uh, recycled plastic would be fine get the size similar to the part that uh, you like to grow um, uh, it depends if uh, you propagate it uh, to uh, trading um, to trading with somebody then uh, you get the smaller bags for easy transportation I uh, will propagate this and uh, roll into a, a pot. That's why I use a bigger bag. After you get the all root done, then it's just ready to go. The mix I uh, because I I use the uh, potting mix, and I mix the same uh, ingredients like uh, the one that they grow grow in the pot. The plant get uh, less uh, stress than uh, if I uh, use a, a completely different uh, uh, media, uh, growing media mix. Uh, depend on what the type of media you growing. If you grow uh, media different than mine, then uh, you uh, if you then you use the uh, media that you like for the air layer. So. Yeah, first you identify where you want to LA, right? So I would LA on the top of the plants here. Right. You, uh, let's see. You get the, uh, the bag, same size at the uh, same height at the pot, or a little bit smaller, uh, then you have to anger it. Uh, uh, completely secure this one I have a perlite at the bottom so if I water it then the water will stay at the bottom and uh, separate the potting mix and the uh, perlite so I can use this at um, say watering uh, container similar like that out and when the water is too much or not it's a uh, it's better to have a, a, a layer at per light at the bottom, right? Uh, you got your you got your tape tape ready. This is the tape. You cut in strip, long and short, whatever you need. You get it ready. 
You got scissor. Yes, any type of scissor, good scissor. Open the back here, will be uh, underneath of the uh, air layer. And then you're gonna tape it up. So, this, this, this one right here, you need to cut it. You cut it. Okay, you need to cut it. Put it down. Okay, over. Get the root into the soil. Get the piece of tape. You tape one side, and then you put another side. You cover it on this side. You pull this one over. Then uh, make sure you have a extra growing mix right here, and then you push it in. Put the growing mix in to cover uh, the section where it need to be uh, air layer. Hmm? More tape uh, as needed to secure the bag. Right. Now, very important. Uh, make sure this bag don't doesn't move around too much. This bag, make sure it doesn't move. You need to tape it uh, into the original part. You need need to tape it all together. Bet if you the tape tape the back hugging the the path so it won't move around. Okay. You can cover this. No need to be taped when uh, this top row out. You have a have a space. To let it grow out. You can add extra rolling media later on if you want this to uh, stay a bit longer to have more root before you can uh, cut it. Just like that. Just simple. Very simple to do. Uh, no need to make any cut because uh, if you make a cut and then you cover this drone media in, then the, the vine may get rocked. So don't cut. You see how simple it is? Yeah, not, not, not much uh, work to do than the uh, air layering uh, trees or woody vines. Or you need to do it, uh, have it, uh, a bag filled with growing media, similar to the media that uh, the original plant grow. Or in this case, I uh, grow into uh, a potting mix. If you don't grow this uh, in potting mix and you grow to the media that you like to grow, then you air layer with the, in the back with the growing media that you uh, would like uh, your plant to grow in, in the future. So the plastic bag like this better, you can see the, the root growing. You, you can also uh, use a plastic container like a, a pot next to it but I found it's easier to use the plastic bag because it's more flexible when you cover the section where you want to do the air layer when to uh, cut you can you can monitor the uh, root section